This tutorial explains how some practical work uh, can be done in order to calculate the empirical formula of a compound such as magnesium oxide. This supports the part of the specification which says to calculate the empirical formula of a compound from the mass of each element in a sample of a compound. This is a classic science experiment that uh, most schools do. Uh, essentially what you do is you weigh a crucible and lid on an accurate set of scales and uh, then take a piece of magnesium ribbon, clean it up so that it's good and shiny, it's got no oxide coating on it, coil it up in the crucible and weigh it again. That's so you can know what the mass of the magnesium was. And then you put the crucible on a pipe clay triangle as shown there and heat it strongly. You have to lift the lid up now and then in order to introduce some more air so that more oxygen can combine with the magnesium ribbon but once the magnesium ribbon has all oxidized, has become magnesium oxide, you can tell because it's turned into a white ash. You then uh, keep on heating to make sure that uh, as much oxygen has combined with the magnesium as possible then turn it off and let it cool down and weigh the crucible, the lid and the contents again um, by a kind of uh, combination of the different masses that you get you can work out the mass of the original magnesium and also the mass of the magnesium oxide that's been made and so the difference between the two would be the mass of the oxygen. Well that's the theory anyway. Let's shove in some example uh, results. Now if the mass of the empty crucible and lid was 36.25 grams and then with the magnesium in as well, it was 36.72, then the mass of the magnesium at the start would be the difference between those two, which is 0.47 grams. Now let's assume that the mass after heating uh, rose, so let's hope it does, it goes up to 37.03. That means that the magnesium oxide, uh, which is inside, is the difference between weighing number 3 and the original weighing 0 which is 0.78 grams. So the magnesium was 0.47 and the magnesium oxide is 0.78. Now the difference between the magnesium and the magnesium oxide is the amount of oxygen. So if you take one of those away from the other you get 0.31 grams which is the mass of the uh, oxygen which is combined with the magnesium in the magnesium oxide. We now know then the mass of the magnesium 0.47 grams and the mass of the oxygen which is 0.31 grams and from those two should be able to work out what the empirical formula of magnesium oxide is at least from our experiment. Now we've got those masses we're going to do the rest of the calculation just like any other empirical formula calculation. So we've got 0.47 grams of magnesium combined with 0.31 grams of oxygen. But in order to work out the empirical formula, we have to find out the ratio of the number of atoms. And we can only do that by using moles. So what we're going to do is going to work out the number of moles, which is the mass over the molar mass, which for magnesium is 24 grams and for oxygen is 16 grams. That gives us a um, number of moles of magnesium. Oh, 0 0.0196 moles and for the oxygen 0 0.0194 moles. Now although we can already kind of see the ratio here because I fiddled the results of course um, what I'm going to do is divide each of those by the smaller of the two. So I'm going to divide this by 0.0194 moles and that's going to give me an answer of 1. And I'm going to divide this one by the same number 0.0194 and that's going to give me an answer of 1.01. .01. So I can pretty well see that my molar ratio is 1 to 1 and therefore my formula is mg one o one and my empirical formula therefore is MGO.